the penultimate preseason game for the New York Knicks in which uh, no starters and, and no bench unit, man. Tibbs going load management style on us. But despite a Boston three party, the Grimes hive was alive and well. The deuce got loose a little bit and we saw some good things, man. So let's lock in. We'll overreact to everything. Take your phone calls. Call us up 657-383-1509 or call us up on the KFTV Discord. CP the Franchise, Alex Sotaros, my first post game of the 2023-24 preseason. I'm ready to go. Share mm. this video. Subscribe to the channel. The number one show for the fans by the fans. The number one podcast for the fans by the fans. You see, I like it. You, you, you see Joe Missoula and those guys pull the chair out from under us in game one. A little mm -hmm. chess match. You're not going to see our guys. And then Tibbs return the favor tonight. No Brunson. No Julius, no RJ, no Hart, no IQ. But you still got Grimes, and you still got Mitch. And look, this game went just about how I expected it to go. In the beginning, you saw, because it was a hodgepodge starting unit, guys were trying to find each other. Obviously, they were coming in overmatched anyway. So it was a bit of a slow start, even though Knicks were trying to tread water early. And uh, but the three point defense was just a bit woeful and Boston was just move the ball, spread the floor as they can, as they're capable of doing, which you see this team. And, you know, when when they're at full strength, if they're clicking on all cylinders, they're going to be a tough out. So the Knicks had their hands full, but give them credit. Second half, they locked in. Um, I thought uh, Mitch looked looked good. I thought McBride looked good. And, but it was Quentin Grimes, man. The story tonight, seven to 12 mm -hmm. from downtown. Shooting off the dribble, shooting off a catch and shoots, quick release. I mean, that net was snapping, boy. That net was snapping oh, yeah. on some of those threes, man. And for Grimes, it's that that's all we're waiting on. Uh, that is the final piece to his puzzle. It's just you, you're hoping that he's able to knock down threes at a 40% clip and really be dangerous as a two way threat for this team. But tonight was certainly encouraging. Absolutely. I mean, CP, look, he went. Seven for 13 from the field, but 12 of those shots were from downtown. He yeah, went seven for 12 yeah. from downtown, my man. That is what we're talking about. That's what we want to see what Quinn Grimes do. And the first, I think it was the first or second three-pointer where he was, it was just off the dribble, right? I, I was just like, okay, this is yeah. what he's been working on. This is what he's been doing with J.J. Redick. All right, this is what Penny Hardaway's having him doing. I like it. I like to see that. And look, we talked about it on Weekly, man. I want to see Grimes be more involved in the offense just to see and to unlock him, man. I yeah. want to see his full capability, and that's why I think and, – and look, we saw it tonight. It wasn't the full-on second unit, but you had, Don, you had uh, Dante DiVincenzo, you had Quentin Grimes, right? You even had Isaiah Hart and Stein, yep. Stein in there. If you get Grimes with those guys and uh, uh, through the regular season, I think we can see more offense from him just because he won't get those type of touches – with the starting unit, he's not going to with Brunson and Randall. Those guys are going to be taking the lion's share of shots. Want to see him with the second unit, man? Because tonight, this is the encouraging stuff. I'm just impressed he went seven for twelve from downtown, man. Yeah. Because I know he can be flaming hot from down from three, but look, the tonight was different than what we've seen him. It's not just catch and shoot. It's off the dribble, pep to his step. I like what I saw, man. I like what I saw. I felt very promising from this game because, you know, overall, when you look at the end score, you know, you'll see what it is. It's a 13 point lead. But a lot of the times I felt like we had them sweating, like we had them against the ropes. And that was all led by like the defense uh, specifically Quentin Grimes mm. and then Bride. Just they were just they were just doing their thing today. And mm -hmm. it's just very promising, specifically Grimes. Did you see his shot tonight? It wasn't hitting. Snapping. He's snapping it was going the rim. Straight. Snapping the rim. It, it, yeah. I, you barely hear it. Mm -hmm. it, it. It was insane. And so, you know, I just love to see that. And then you also had what what I really appreciate was um Sims, you know, coming in there with 10 rebounds, being solid, you know, still being a force. You know, he's not mm -hmm. a he's not a Mitch, but you know, at the same time, mm -hmm. I feel like that's gonna be great um for our backup um as a five. And then, you know, just most importantly, you know, I just 
What what I loved the most was just seeing that some things never change, mm-hmm. and Christoph Porzingis still can't. <laughs> he can't bang with these with, with our center. I yeah. really like the way that heart was like really like muscling Porzingis. So overall, I just I just I think this is promising. And obviously, you know the main guys weren't playing tonight. You know with Josh Hart and mm-hmm. you know you know RJ and everything. So. You know, I'm very hopeful, and I and I feel like next next week's game is a lock. I'm saying it right now. That's mm. a dub. He's putting That's it out dub. there. It. He's putting a That's guarantee it. out there. Will from LI. Let's go. That's it, man. See you guys tomorrow, Thursday, Wednesday. Peace.